This is Livestock and in this video we are looking at differentiation and turning points. And there's two main things that we need to know for this. And the first one is that at a turning point the gradient of the tangent is zero. And this means that you can work out the coordinates of the turning point by equating the derivative to zero. And you can also work out whether a turning point is decreasing or increasing uh, by using the second derivative. And when the second derivative, which is d2y over dx squared, is less than zero, this means that it's a maximum point. But when d2y over dx squared is more than zero, it means that it's a minimum point. And to show how this comes in when we're doing a question, we will now do one of these questions. And this is asking to work out the coordinates and see whether there are minimum or maximum points of the curve y is equal to 2x cubed minus 9x squared plus 12x plus 7. So first of all, we need to equate dy by dx to 0. So first of all, this means that we've got to work out what dy by dx is. And again, I've already shown how to do this in a previous video, so I'm not going to go through too much depth of how we actually differentiate. So this differentiates to give 6x squared minus 18x plus 12. And as the gradient is 0 at a turning point, this is equal to 0. Now, therefore, what we can do is we can simply work out what the um, what x is in this, and this is a quadratic equation, and it would be easier just to divide everything by 2, so 3x squared minus 9x plus 6 equals 0. So therefore, this will go to, um, we'll put a 3x here, and x here. So here we're just looking at a simple um, GCSE topic which is taken in the context of a, of a larger question which has many A-level aspects of it. But this will go to 3x minus 6 and then x minus 1. So therefore x is equal to 2 and then x is also equal to 1. So that's our two points. Now we just want to sub this back into the y. So the y is here to get the y's. And when you sub 1 back in, you're going to get y is equal to 12. So therefore, one of the coordinates is equal to 1, 12. And the other coordinate is equal to 2. And then once you sub 2 back into it, you'll get 11. So 2, 11. And now we've done the first part, we've done work out the coordinates part, but now we need to see if they're minimum or maximum. And this is the second part, and this is where we'll use all of this here. So first we'll work out this one here, 112, and see if this one is a minimum or maximum point. And in order to do this, we're simply going to find out the second derivative. And 6x squared minus 18x plus 12 equals 0. That is the, the first derivative. So we're just going to have to differentiate this again. And that will therefore equal, so d2y over dx squared is equal to 12x minus 18. And then we'll sub in x from both of them. So we'll do it over in this area here. And then if we sub 1 into it, then we get 12 minus 18, which is equal to minus 6. Now, then we'll look back to here, and minus 6 is less than 0. Now, that would mean that as it is less than 0, 1, 12, is a maximum point. And that would mean if you were drawing that on a curve, you'd be looking at something like that, and it would be there. That's the maximum point there. So then we have to put in this one. So if we put in 2 now, then we're going to get 24 minus 18, which is equal to 6 this time.
Now, 6 is more than 0, so that would mean that 212, 211, sorry, is a minimum point. And there we are. That would look a little bit like that. So that is how you do it. Both you have working out the coordinates by equating it to zero and then using the second derivative to work out the minimum or the maximum point of a curve. So thank you for watching this video and see you soon. Bye.